questions on any minutes? April 19th. I'll make a motion. I'll second. All in favor? Visitors' comments? Sorry, John. No? I actually have a comment. Okay. Um, and I'd appreciate it if you kind of like hear me out before you answer the question that I have. It seems to be like a reoccurring problem down here in the valley, according like, to the news articles, because I only read the news article after it came out, I didn't go to the last meeting. And according to the news article on the April 19th meeting, um, Ms. Christine DeVosie posed a lot of questions. And, and they were primarily about Keith Lilly and why doesn't he um, consider or whatever. And in reading through the whole thing, all the way to the end, it came to the point where um, there's going to be a new vacancy on the sewage authority. The question I have, and I'm, I'm posing for you to answer, would be the fact that the qualifications. I was here once before asking about qualifications for vacancies. The answers that I had gotten weren't very satisfactory. So it appears like the, the majority of the appointed positions are the decisions of two people. 99% of what seems like it's cut and dried, the motions are made and the votes are taken. And it's usually by the same two supervisors. It's very apparent from the news releases that the qualifications seem to vary with the person that's, that they have in mind that they feel is qualified or that they want into that position. When I asked Franny the last time at a previous meeting what his requirements were, you stated she can add and use a computer. Well, 90% of the kids over at school can do that. So that, to me, wasn't satisfactory. So, as for Mr. Ripke, he states that the most, at the most recent appointee, that he has 20 years of corporate accounting, which wasn't on his application. No, it wasn't. And, you know, it's potato, potato, I'm, I'm a domestic engineer if he is a corporate accountant. He owns a bar. If that qualifies him, if that's what his corporate accounting is, then to me that's not qualifications for a position. Uh, I think we all know there's a personal vendetta between the supervisors, whether you acknowledge it or not. It is blatant. And you don't have to, the general population, you got to give them credit. All they have to do is read the newspaper. And in the newspaper, we sound like we're from Hooterville. Mr. Lilly is probably ten times more capable for these positions than any you or anybody else that applied. But I'm not going to go there because that was taken care of with Christine DeVosie's report. But, with that being said, Mr. Ripley, you didn't tell the truth. The two applicants were not notified. The ones that had put their applications in with Rosenfeld at the same time, you stated they were all notified. They were not. They were not called. They were not given a letter. Supervisors never talked to them. So you were not telling the truth. I didn't. I never said I talked to them. I, I asked our secretary if she contacted them, and they said they weren't. She said she talked to them, and they said they weren't interested. I can tell you that one of them was my daughter, Wendy Bonanno. She was not talked to. No phone call. Didn't receive a letter. That's not telling the truth. I'm sorry. That's. Well, you knew from the previous meeting she had it in because I was here before and asked for the qualifications. So you knew she was an applicant as well as Rosenfeld. I'm just saying. Uh, actually, the two applicants that you never got in touch with, let alone interview, they served on the recreation board, and they've gone to meetings. They lived their whole lives here in the valley. They pay water and sewage and utilities. They worked during their summers at the township in between college. Between 
Both of them, they have several degrees and even a master's degree. And Ms. Parazzi, she works in accounting and computer program with ongoing upgrading with training. They weren't even interviewed. But because Rosenfeld was a corporate accountant, yeah, potato, potato, you know, he was, he got in there smooth sailing. You didn't even discuss it with Mr. Lilly. It was cut and dry before the meeting. Uh, so that brings me to the qualifications. Uh, there's a vacancy up. And there should be more specific guidelines to what not just they can add and they can run a computer or they have this made up type. Uh, this is a government, not a monopoly. But that's what it looks like to the public. It looks like two supervisors are having meetings and coming to the, to the meetings. One motions it, the other one passes, it's, it's done. You recruit these people ahead of time. Uh, there's rules and there's guidelines and bylaws. And y'all, it's the government. We have to follow them. We voted you in. As citizens, we deserve answers. We shouldn't be brushed aside. We shouldn't be told we don't want guidelines or this is the guidelines this time or it, it just can't be we do it this way this time but the next person is different. You say you were looking for something specific. It, it should be a general, there should be a list of qualifications and guidelines that you are looking for. All right, the qualifications are, you you list them yourself on the, on the application. Did okay? he list that he was a corporate? No, he didn't, but when I contacted him, he told me that. So Did he tell you that before? Before what? Before you voted them in. Yes, yes, when I spoke you to him. You contacted him. him. I did. So why did you contact the rest because of them? Because when I asked my secretary if anybody had been contacted, she said she already spoke with your daughter and Ms. Perez, and they weren't interested. I saw her at the post office at the post office. But but you told her you weren't interested? Or I, well, I never got contacted. I said I probably won't be interested, but neither neither do you. Okay, well, when I'm asked if anybody was contacted and two people... But Wendy was not She was not contacted. She was not by verbal... Again, I'm sorry about that. Then. Well, that, that's okay being sorry now. It's after the fact. Right. I mean, that's a good way you to cover your uh, butt. Is she interested in the sewer board vacancy because she didn't come forward on that? I mean, there's the vacancy again, you know what I mean? Do you think she'd want to get involved after what you did to her? Okay. Let's wrap it up and move on. We to will. Person. Okay. Before the end of this, um, in the paper it stated, Augustuson said that he was satisfied with the current policy. There is no current policy. There are no guidelines. There's no written papers. There's no bylaws. There is nothing. He's satisfied if you two are satisfied. And your report was it will change with the vacancy, what it means to the board. You're the board, you're the vacancy. You could say whatever you want to to get whoever you want to in there. There was it's no written gone. application before we got here, if you well, remember that. Well, there should be. There, there be is one now that, that you can list your qualifications, that you can tell us why you want to be on the board. That wasn't here before we came on. But your considerations are and yes, there's add. always going to be a vacancy on the board that is going to need. You're going to have to look at the applicant. Do you not and interview? Who the best applicant Wait, is. do you not interview people? We go by what they bring to us on. So the in other words, you, the answer to that is, is no. You do not interview applicants, no, no matter if they Normally have. Normally, we don't even have one. Just like tonight for the store board vacancy. Well, yeah, that's tonight. I'm talking about previously. There were seats because on this Because if we water leave tonight, it's going to do the same thing. If we walk out the door, there's not going to be any set rules of what qualifies for these vacancies. There should be qualifications, not just he is a corporate accountant and she can add and use a computer. Those are not sufficient. Maybe they are for you too, but they aren't for the people who vote you in. We want more input. We want to know what makes you pick certain people. She has computer skills that she can add. I, I think that paper later on when we come down to the water company will answer your questions. Okay.
Okay. Why did the water company have to answer my questions? I'm asking you to. Well, we can down this paper. I will answer your question. No, this is. Continue this on, is, Jeremy. See, this is. Up. Let's just brush it underneath the table no, I'm not and not do with it. We're, we're not dealing with it. We are dealing with it. Oh, do you have a meeting set up to set up qualifications, qualifications. and guidelines? I knew why I didn't want Mr. Lilly in there. Okay. Well, I think everybody I knows why. why you don't want him in there. Why would you think I would want Mr. Lilly in there? Tell me your. I say it's a personal vendetta. No, it's not. Well, you can say that, but that's it's not what's coming across. Vendetta. It's trying to get the you know, potato, potato, right tomato, tomato, tomato. You can say no, what you want. No, I will say later on what I mean. Go ahead with your business. I, I just know. want there to be set guidelines for these vacancies. Not that they they don't have to be professors. I'm not saying that. Yes, but it can't be just you guys behind closed doors. Saying, no oh, we're not going to even stop. interview anybody. Got more closed oh, door yes, there. there is closed doors. I can tell you a little bit that was down we at the regional hotel. Wait a minute. You guys speak down or something? I can tell you, you that there's a person that I know overheard you guys. All right. That's enough. You had your three minutes. It's over. I'm not saying that. Move it off. I'd like to respond to Mr. Lilly's call. Go ahead. Wait, wait, particular. Wait, we're going in a circle. We're not talking. I am. I'm talking to him. I'm responding to this call. This man is process. speaking. This man is speaking. We give you your time to speak. Okay. I'd like to respond to that comment. What are you referring to as closed doors, Keith? Huh? Huh? I'm not on this board. I, no, but he, I've seen him at meetings. Who? Who? Oh, what meetings? What closed doors what are you referring to? That, you can discuss. Meetings? You three supervisors. If you're no tired of that, you discuss anything Did you, you discuss want these, at any time. Did you discuss these applicants? Did you discuss this? I'm trying to tell you, Chairman. As long quiet. as you don't quiet. take action. John, quiet. As long as you don't take the action. The action has been taken. Quiet. Long before no, no. the meeting. This goes right down to this paper, why I didn't vote for Mr. Lilly. And just and this goes right down the line here, and I'll explain this later. I agree, but I passed that. I told don't you, you I was passed the, 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 the that you just didn't use Lilly. I'm on to the future. What's going to happen with the future I'm when there's the vacancies? Future. Believe me. But you're looking to it. But in this paper, you stated that you future. said that you were satisfied with the current policy. Yes, it is. We well, then why are you looking into it if you're We never satisfied. had a policy before. We never there's had a policy. Don't you think? There was there's, always a policy. There's guidelines and bylaws that have to be followed. There, no, there, is a, there, there was a policy. It's in the minute book. There was. Go ahead. The next person. Let me know. We'll continue on this. Moving case. back. No, we don't know. We're getting back to that. We're getting back to that. No, I don't know. Jim? I'm not going to take time. Rick? Uh, I'm on the J Township Water Board. I'm just I'm with Chairman John Hill. He has things he wants to talk about. Okay. We'll come under you a bit. Come yeah. Okay. All right. Bob? Uh, I guess I have a couple of things. First of all, I was uh, out on the internet on the PUC website and reading about the unconventional uh, gas well fund usage and uh, the money that we're going to give to the municipalities. Uh, also, they have posted out there a, uh, a fee schedule. Uh, for the first year, you get 40000 the second, 30 for each spud hole drilled in the township. Now, as I understand, on Gray Hill, there's probably two spot holes here now, and I think if you look at the PPC plan, there's supposed to be four more. Uh, I, I'm not sure if the Board of Supervisors has any uh, in-depth insight how this is going to work. I mean, first of all, the first year it's drilled, well, is this going to be retroactive back to, uh, I think those holes were drilled in 2011. Yes. So that's probably mm -hmm. going to be a three-year well by the time this application is filed. They are retroactive to anything that's been drilled. Um, yeah, but once again, will you get forty thousand as in the first year, or would you get twenty-five thousand as in the third year? It starts as if it's in the first year, I believe. I, I don't know. I talked to the uh, county. I talked to the county commissioner Freeberg about it, and he expects our share to be somewhere roughly fifty, sixty thousand in the first year, but it's. Not, there were numbers weren't definite. Okay, then as far as how this money can be used, uh, there's uh, a broad spectrum of uses this money can be put to, but they're for different entities. For example, construction, reconstruction, maintenance of roadways. That's under the Board of Supervisors realm. Water, storm water, and sewer systems. 
you got a water authority and a sewer authority. So it sounds like they'd be entitled to a cut in that. Uh, you have emergency preparedness and public safety, 911. Uh, to me, it sounds like, hey, the firemen would be entitled to a cut. So, is there anything written how this money will be distributed to all these different entities in the township? Not right now. I mean, just okay. the, the list of what is allowed and what is allowed. But uh, until the money's, okay, you know, I'm not going to count my chickens before they're hatched. Is my okay? My you three as elected officials, do you intend on in keeping all this money for yourself? Because I think you're the ultimate authority that decides the disbursement of this money. Or do you intend to give some of this money to the water authority, some to the sewer authority, and some to the fire authority? We have to wait to see how much we get. We no, get you don't, Franny. You do not have to wait to see how much you get. You can well, uh, go on difference. record now I whether you're going to divide it difference. or you... Let me talk. Are you going to divide this or are you going to keep it all for yourselves? Now, why would you say we'd keep it all for ourselves? Because you won't go on record saying what you're going to do. You're the community, one way or another. Yes, you are a community, and that's why I believe everybody should be given a cut of this. And, and I don't know. I don't even have an idea what we'd get. Well, I, it, I don't but, trust gas companies to begin with. So okay, I this, like this is law, Franny. Well, it's law, then I'll wait Yeah, this. okay, but the board, the consensus of the board is you're going to disperse this to uh, the other entities in the township? I think it should be my, my uh, I think it should be too. I think that's the fair thing. Well, at the time, like you said, when we find out yeah. what we're looking at and what's yeah, where the need is, is, is the okay. Thing. Presuming it's as the county advised you around sixty thousand dollars. Right in the first year. In the first year. So, what would you envision doing with that money? I don't know at this time. I mean, there's a lot of road maintenance to be done. There's a, there's a lot of a bridge that's going to need replaced, replaced in Caledonia yeah. that we were talking about. Yeah, there's water lines that are going to be replaced too. I don't know what, where this money's going to go, and I'm not going to count the chickens before they're hatched. Like well, I said, it's, I'm. Uh, I think it's pretty sure you're going to get some money. Just exactly how much it's going to be. But, uh, and again, those figures, if you read it, are big. The first three years, then they go down to fifteen yeah, thousand, ten thousand, all the way it up goes to down ten years. Every year. or, right, it goes down every year for what ten year well, window. Well, maybe. for the first four years, and in this case, ten thousand out to ten years, and then it goes down to five thousand for year uh, eleven through fifteen. Right. But it's also tied to the uh, wellhead price of gas. So if that swings up, then you're going to get more money. And it also, if they plug a well, you only get the first three years of payments, I believe. If they do what? If they plug it. After they drill it and they plug it, I believe you only get the first three years. Well, I would think when it went back in production, you did something. At, at some point in time. But I'm yeah. saying this money's not going to be a, it's going to be a different figure every year. So it's something to consider. That's okay. all I'm going to say at this time. Okay. Uh, I guess the uh, second question, did you ever talk to your solicitor with regards to the Sunshine Act? Have you read it? I mean, uh, there's an obligation to the public to be open and to conduct the deliberation of agency business before the public. Now, you know, Jeremy, I saw you and Franny down in his house. And John's kind of taken exception to it. I mean, oh, you as elected yes, officials, every Friday, and we you, do things every you Friday. as elected officials, Right. Have a responsibility to the right. public to not create questions in their minds. Okay. Okay. Then Next also slide. I have some letters, but we can wait on correspondence. Okay. Can I comment on something that you said? Sure. Uh, as far as your wellhead payments and that, I think it's a good idea what, what he brought up. But why not let the various uh, authorities compete for it? You know, just like the county does with an application for a grant. If their project is deemed more important or more needy, give them some money or sewage or water or, or whatever. Uh, it's, that's a fair way to do it, I think. There might, rather than just doling out the money a percentage-wise. Something to consider. Okay, any other comments? Okay, looking at the bills for the approval today.
$113,732.62. State fund checking, $1,119.87. State fund insured money fund, $152,198.24. State fund CD, $39,216. General fund CD, $79,445. And the total deposit for the month is $106,710.62. Correspondence. Number one, J Township Water Authority meeting minutes. Two, J Township Sewer Authority meeting minutes. Three, Alcon Commissioners meeting minutes. Four, Robert Coppolo, proposed relocation of Sewer Authority Administrative Office. Two, Ethics Act, nominees and statement of financial interest. Three sewer authority meeting or five two twelve proposed revocation of the sewer authority administrative office. Five EQT adjacent municipal notification well sites, Houston Township, Clearfield County. Six EQT general permit for banks ground for power water line. Okay, uh, my correspondence here, item two, the ethics act, nominees and statement of financial interest. Uh, to be quick about it. Uh, nominees have to have a uh, financial interest statement submitted for the previous calendar year to be considered, and it has to be 10 days prior to the appointment is made. Uh, I'm sure you all read my letter, at least I hope you did. So in the case of uh, the appointment that was made back in March, uh, his financial interest statement was dated 2010. Good to May. The part, where does it say it's good to May? Where does it say it? I'll call again tomorrow. But I don't, I want it in writing. I hey, want it in writing and law. I'll call again tomorrow. Right here it is hey, in law, law point in the Ethics Act. I already called Did you read the Ethics Act? I already called Once already. again, did you read the Ethics Act? I'm tired tomorrow. of phone calls. Fight again, Bob. You get a written law to that effect. Good to May first. You get a written law to that effect. Good to May. Can you Can you ask for it in writing? I mean, you say a lot of things up there, but I'm finding they don't carry a whole lot of weight, Randy. You believe it. They just don't stay, carry a whole lot of weight. Okay. Of Keith, did you read this? A lot of things you say don't carry a lot what, of weight. What is your interpretation? Ten days before the previous year. The previous calendar year. So for an appointment in 2012, what would be the previous calendar year? 2011. That's the way I interpret that. And if you read the definitions in the Act, there is no definition for previous calendar year. So I think we have to take that at its literal interpretation, which in 2012, that would mean 2011. And, you know, you made an appointment on an invalid uh, statement of financial interest. And when I talked, I talked to PSATS about this also about before the appointment. And I told them, I said, they have made the financial statement is 2010. Does he need to put anyone in before he can be appointed? They said no. It's good. Okay. Until May the first, May the first. Let's so see the law. That's not what it says here. A candidate has till May the first, or not a candidate, a public office holder has till May the third first. A nominee does not. I explained that it was a nominee. I said that. Let's see the law. Right they, here's the law. I referred to the Ethics Act. They had to go look it up, and they responded to me. Okay, I'd like to see the response in writing. Because I don't understand. I mean, I think we're beating a dead horse. No, I don't think we are. I don't think we are. I think it's very important for any agency to comply with law, and I don't think this is uh, in compliance with law. Okay, the next next thing uh, is number three here. Now, at the sewer authority meeting, you know, uh, all of a sudden, this thing about moving the office for the administrative affairs of the sewage agency is then tabled. I asked what does it mean tabled? It's just tabled. Now I asked both you, Jeremy, and Keith to come to the meeting. Unfortunately, neither one of you showed up. Uh, there's never been a reason given why they want to move it, and I think this should be brought to a conclusion. I think it is very unsound to permit the public yeah. over to the sewer plant. Nobody said and there's a broad the spectrum. Public. Franny, who's got the floor? Nobody floor? said about the public, Bob. You used the three minutes up a long time ago, buddy. Three minutes yeah. about well, causing trouble. It's not ah, causing trouble. Yeah, there's no true. reason for the public yeah. to be over there. There's, there's no but reason at all. And I like this matter brought to resolution. Okay. It will be in this orange meeting. Continue. 
Okay, road maintenance.
all the time, so it's hard to pinpoint exactly when they're going to do it. I'm told it's on the schedule for somewhere around June 4th. Um, Microsize would come in and they would actually leave these cables out probably three, four days in advance. They'd leave them on the ground during the duration of the frack, pick them up probably day two after. Um, looking at usually around two weeks, it all depends on their frack schedule, whether it's 12, 24 hour, whatnot. You doing any blasting testing? There will be no blasting with this test. These cables are laid out, just geophones in the cable. That's it. No this, vibration. The, sti the, st just the stimulation of the frack is their sound wave, essentially. So it's simply just that cable laying on the ground. And like I said, they'll use culverts and things like that to uh, minimize the road crossings and their potential for damage. Them. How far out do they extend? Uh, it varies anywhere from like a little over a mile to two miles. Are you going to cable all these points shown on the map, or are they going to be... Uh, you'll, you'll have a cable that goes right. from one point to the next. So every point I see, every dark circle, there's going to be a cable to There'll it. be some geophones placed at that dot. Then on the back of the doghouse, will it be a cable, or it's going to be... Uh, their doghouse? Yeah, there'll be a cable no, that runs sure. around the inner part of that ring to connect yeah, all those lines. Okay, we'll each one of the lines, the cable coming back. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And the doghouse is going to be at the center point? The doghouse will actually be very close to the wellhead itself because they actually have to tie in to when they do their... Uh... Yeah, and the seismic energy is going to be generated by the frac fluid going into the well? The stimulation of the rock, yes. Is it going to be it's the frac fluid or is it going to be when they perf the case? Well, they'll, they'll see the perf as well as when the fractures actually take place. That'll emit a sound wave that they'll pick up on those cables. Are, are you going to record the perf too? I'm thinking that they will. I'm not, the I'm not completely aware of exactly what they pick up. But. Okay, so uh, as I recall, there's two wells, there's two uh, spots to be fracked here, is that right? One goes to the northwest and the other to the southeast. I uh, wouldn't know for sure. Our, our job is simply to gain the permission to be there okay. and get an idea as far as the particulars of the wall itself. Okay. Really All right, thank you. What was your name of the Hills location? Right up here. Yeah, like Oregon. Well, there's, there's four stubs out there. Yeah, there's they, four they may, may not record all of them with this test. You guys have any questions? I don't. I mean, I'll make a motion to grant permission. No, sorry. All in favor? Hospitalization rate. Well, they're going up, what was the percentage? 32.5%. And starting on July. Mm -hmm. um, with the rate increase, it would go up from 4478 dollars to $5,841. Uh, really, before we switch to high mark, we would spend $6,265 a month, so it's still, before the switch last year, we're still saving $424 a month from what we were paying last year, even with this rate increase. So, I mean, I, I don't know what you guys should want to do, but still savings from the switch we made last year. I say we let it go for one more year, and next year, before this comes up, to put it out for good year. That all out there to get quotes for it. Yeah, I mean, Just every other year you should put quotes, and we just did that last year, which is not as high as you said it was. But next year, um, because sometimes they only get the time, is there a time limit on this one to send it back? At the end of the month, see. So next year, let's make a, a note that when it does come in to uh, hurry up and get it out to get uh, at least three different quotes on that insurance. I don't think we're saving any more this year, but we'll do it next year. I mean, I looked at the $250 deductible and $500 deductible. There's, a, there's really less than $100 a month difference in the So, you know, yeah. you know I'm fine with it. We'll get a motion. Motion for anything. Yeah. Either way, there's All right. Tax collector training fee. Jim L. Rose to attend the class. Do a motion for that. Yeah. Good second. I second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Water authority loan guarantee. And, John, would you like to talk now? Yes, I would. Go ahead. Uh, you all have a letter 
on your meeting packet as we have the upgrades coming up soon to the water treatment plant. And uh, both First Commonwealth Bank and PennVest need for us to have the loans secured. Uh, they wish that the township would uh, make sure that they would uh, take care of the take care of the loan and sort of co-sign. Uh, we're looking at two different stages to the project. Uh, the first stage is the one loan for one hundred and seven thousand dollars that we will secure from First Commonwealth Bank. And that will take care of the skate system, static mixer, change over to liquid chlorine. Uh, that amount of money would be able to be paid back once the PenVest loan is secured. We're capable of making the payment on 107000 because the smallest PenVest loan we have will be satisfied June 1. The uh, second stage of the project would be somewhere in the neighborhood of a minimum of 220000 That is if we don't go through with any distribution improvements. This would all have to do with the water treatment plant. That is the, from the consent order? That is from the consent these are all, order. This, yeah. These are all necessary. You said minimum 220000 A minimum of 220000 For your second stage. That, that, would, that would include the 107. Oh, well, that's including that's the 107? That's what I was going to ask. That would, that. We would have the payback of 107 once that's secured. John, I thought we already bought the mixer. The mixer's already there. The mixer's uh, already there. Most of this, most of this hundred and seven thousand is, is would go to the SCADA system. We put a bunch of money in that. Are they, are they sure that what they need there? They're very sure. I was on there, and I remember we gave them thousands. We had an engineering report as to what's so necessary. A lot of that, when I wrote that over, a lot of that was a lot of that was just a bit working, just to make sure it's working. So a lot of that must be working. These, the these have to be, the permits are being secured right uh, now. For the stuff for the necessary. For the stuff for the trick? Pardon? Is the permits for the trick being done? The you permits for the trick. For is releasing the backwash water? No, no. For in the trick, the leers and all leers. that stuff. That's supposed to be 1st of May, isn't it? 1st no, of May? I, I, don't think, I don't think that's in the first stage. That's what I read in the yeah. article. I'm just going from the engineer's report. Yeah, because I, I just uh, have some concerns with uh, your operators, CME, because uh, I have been lied to from them people. And uh, I, I think, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is it? How they lied to Well, a lot, lots of times. And I got some oh. paper for the numbers. And Can I we discussed this with the people. Uh, I'll tell you what I think we ought to do is sit down with supervisors and water company to discuss some of this. That's, that's my opinion on this. Your June 1st PenVest loan that, that matures ends, what, uh, what's the amount of that payment uh, that you're making now? Do you know that, what that is? Just, hang on, let's see, I think it's less than 2200 Okay, and what will your payment be on this loan that you were planning on doing? I'm going to say it's pretty close to a wash. Okay, all right. And you need it before June the 1st that they went up the back? Do they know that this is coming off your books June the 1st? And you yes. Okay. Uh, what we, well, this would be to secure from First Commonwealth. Okay. With the first stage of 107000 Okay. And actually, we're, you know, we can't prolong it very far because it's going to take a while to process the loan through the first common loan. Okay. Uh, I mean, have we ever backed anything from water before? I don't, I don't know of any loan in the history of Jay Township that hasn't been backed 
for an authority to approve it by the school board. Well, there's a reason the bank wants a co-signer. And if you look at the last four years, I wouldn't sign nothing. Well, I don't think that's I'll tell you something. I'm looking at this four years ago. For that. You have caused a lot of this problem. No, Frank. Yes, you have. If you were to listen to some yes, of the Yes, he did. That and the storage and everything. You cannot go to a public meeting yes. and ask questions. When you're shouted down at public meetings, you when people that sit on the board at that treat time. you lower than dirt, you know, there's times things sell. have to change. I think that you're right in that crowd yet, Franny. No, I'm not in there. You're right in I that crowd. I know that we wouldn't have spent this much money if it wasn't for you. You're right that in that one. crowd. Well, I got a question for you, Randy. You pushed at this letter and said this was my fault. Oh, you can't ask questions. We aren't in democracy. This is the thing. That's why you're not in your board. You can't get a letter. This letter is why I'm not in the board. All right, listen. <laughs> I asked a question. I, I know. I know. I'm talking about a lot of people talking at one time, okay? I, got, I have your operating budget, all right? And I had some, I mean, I, I, I see that you ran $50,000 in the red last year. I see you project to run $13,000 in the red, or I'm sorry, $6,000 in the red this year, although you're already $13,000 in the red to this point in your year. All right. Uh, I don't see where you carried over your $49,000 worth of loss last year into this year. And I also see that your consumption fees have doubled. Did we raise rates uh, this year? I mean, last year. We raised last year you raised rates. 2010. So in, 2010. In 2010, you raised rates. Mm -hmm. So you took in $50,000 in consumption fees in 2011, and you're estimating $100,000 in consumption fees in 2012. So I wanted, I, my, my concern was your budget doesn't even balance <coughs> the way it's proposed for 2012. And you have consumption fees, you doubled your consumption fees according to your 2012 budget. I mean, are you anticipating raising rates? No, we're not. Well, how did we come to a double that consumption fee then? What we're going to do is, right now, we pay every bill that comes in on time. There are no partially paid bills. The last five months, we've run an average of about a $50,000 surplus in our checking accounts. Okay. Okay. Your, I mean, your actuals to date on here show you $6,000 the opposite direction. In, that that in the red. very well be. You know, and, and I just had questions about it when I looked at it. Mm -hmm. We've had uh, an outlay of money. We had $11,000 that went out for engineering work. Mm -hmm. had to go to I, I know you're dealing with the consent order, and I know you have a, you know, a lot on your plate there, but the idea is for us to guarantee something and take on that liability, are you making the right choices here? Is it going to come out to where you spend $220,000, is that going to get you out of the consent order? That right? will get us out of the consent order. I mean, you've had the engineering studies done, and that's your total amount that's, that they expect. I know you said minimum $220,000. What when I said Did they give you a, a ceiling on that? Uh, no, minimum of $220,000 if we don't do anything to the distribution system. And right now, I don't foresee doing anything with the distribution system. Are they recommending that you... No. This is just... There's really, nothing in the consent order about the distribution system. No. It's just... But we, we had given it some thought uh, as if we could see our way through to take care of some of the distribution. But, you know, it's one of those things where you need to take care of exactly what's necessary now. Well, this, already missed to serve brush at 300 and some thousand. Yeah. 338,000. Uh, they were supposed to stick $69 a person into, into that money to, to help that out. What happened with it? All that? Yeah, where did it go? That's, no, I that's 380, 300 and some thousand dollars right there with every person for seven months, for seven quarters that I have written down here. That was seven quarters ago. Well, yeah, some, and that times, you know, 700 people. Yeah. It's a We've taken money. some out of that. I just think, really, we ought to sit down and see what you're going to do, go into. Because there's a lot of things that I see in there, and you know that I've argued them points, too, about these meters and stuff like that. 
that it's not really in the consent form to get done. Okay? There's a lot of stuff in the consent form that needs to be done right now. You know what I mean? Like the mixers that you got, I understand that's done already. That's why you know, I, I can divide it into done. two stages, Brand. I understand that, but what are you buying right now? What are you going to get with the 107? The SCADA system is the big item. The plant's running good, though. It's running good today. And, and the problem is... And if it goes down, we have to man it 724. I know, and that's a, a very expensive. A lot of that system goes to CME because they control that plant mostly at home, too, through the computer system. It's, and that's, you know, that's a lot of cost to us on that. <coughs> Would it be possible to sit down and have a workshop if with this board and the water authority? Manner, yes. okay. like I mean, I, I only got this letter today. I mean, I came in the office, I got it with my meeting packet. So, yeah. you know, I wouldn't mind, and I looked at the operating budget, and I, I have questions. And I don't want to back bad bad debt. I mean, it, one way or the other, the water authority lands with, lands with us anyway, but if it lands with us with an extra $300,000 of debt, that's not helping anybody. You know, it, it, I'm saying if, if every, everything failed, the township has to pick up the pieces. But why pick it up with extra bad debt if that's the case? You need to put the money in either way. That's what's going to satisfy the consent order. Right. Well, so if it's only it's satisfying the consent order, what I'm saying, I think this board would like to sit down and, and see yeah. the progress of the consent order. We got to know exactly where it's going for and if we need it for that consent order. It's needed, man. Yeah. Well, there's a lot way of me, know. I looked a lot of that. A lot of that stuff, as long as it's working, and it's it's fine. A lot of that that stuff, system isn't in the in the in the uh, report. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of electrical the stuff. The system is controlling brains of that plant, uh, and you can't even buy parts for it anymore. That's not required by DEP. Don't give me that. Well, that's seven twenty four man a man a man. If it goes down, you're going to spend seven twenty four no. man in that plant. What already. time? What time? When do you, you need this paperwork signed? Pay. 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 What you need? What would be the time frame? to get to First Commonwealth Bank? They didn't really give me a time frame as far as them. They just need to have the amount and know that it was going to be guaranteed. Okay. Whenever the supervisors can sit down, we can sit down. Is there a day next week to work for you? Let's make a date next week and uh, <coughs> uh, go over the consent order and see actually what's been done and what needs to be done. In the, you know what I mean? So we know exactly how much we're... Because I don't think 107,000 is going to do it. That, that's my, that's more of my concern. You're coming for 107 yeah. and you're saying a minimum of 220 and what if no, no. And then it comes said, back? So we need 107 to bridge us to the Penn the Pen right. Best Loan. Is the Penn Best Loan guaranteed? <coughs> we haven't even started the paperwork? Or, we haven't or started you the paperwork, okay. but uh, with having a consent order, you move to the top of the list and it doesn't seem like there was any issue. Okay. Well, I mean... Let's pick a day next week and just discuss it. I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Next on the evening. I'm on the on Wednesday about 9 in the morning. That would work. Wednesday 9 a.m.? Mm -hmm. We'll meet here. here. Oh, we have to make it. Gustafson is working at that time. Take a day off. Take a day off. Well, pick a time. Afternoon or Saturday is fine. Does anybody have a problem with, with, with the evening meeting? Get two of the three make it? No, we all right. three should be there. All three should be you there. We need so two to ratify anything, right? Yeah, you Three of us should be there. Is it evening time? I don't have any. It doesn't work? Next week. You don't have any evenings? Next week, I don't. Well, I can do any morning. I can do any evening. So. Wait, like you said, I got Wednesday at 9. Seems good. We're, we're going we're gonna to have to do it Wednesday at 9, so you're going to have to okay. make an appointment. I'll make sure I'll try to be Wednesday. there if you want to be there. I'll be there Wednesday, Wednesday 9 a.m. right here. Okay. That's the workshop. Can I have one question, Chairman? Yes. Did the uh, board ever sign for a co sign for the sewer authority? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah, I believe they have, yes, they in the past, because of the financial problems there, too. I don't know if it was at startup or if it was uh, after the fact. That was scattered uh, down in the I don't know. Down. But they did do it before. They did, yes. yes. No, for the sewer it was done prior to the sewer authority. Thank you. Who is it? Private bank loan or a pen vessel? 
that we backed. Yeah. I don't know, are they ten best loans that we, we backed? We backed both. Both of them. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't yeah. during my time, I just know reading the paperwork they're back. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time. Okay. Okay, we got the Act 13 Municipal Approved Budget Report. Can you have that somewhere? Mm -hmm. right. so in order to get... Excuse me, I'd like make one comment. Yeah. Thank you, John. And, yeah. have, you, have you thought about really actively... Chet's all here. He's here to us. Chet, sorry. <laughs> have you actively thought about seeking a qualified plan operator and to eliminate to eliminate uh, CWL. Yeah. CME. That cost me a ton of money. We have backed yeah. off on that. We just signed a new contract with CME. They are, we're down to 70 hours a month now. That's a cost savings. And also, they are a training. They are a training here. <laughs> okay. And you so started. Here, 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 here. Yeah, he started. They cost, they cost you about $115,000 last year. Yeah, definitely. And they got the distribution work. Right. But he uh, he took some tests yesterday, and Eric had taken some tests toward his qualifications, and uh, he's moving along. And you know, John, that things take time. Oh, they do, especially that. Yes. When do you anticipate Eric having his license? That I don't know. All right, okay, for the Act 13, uh, in order to get the money that we talked about earlier from Act 13, we have to send a copy of our approved 2010 uh, budget. That's what they base the money on. They don't base it off your budget, but you can't get anything else, uh, more than 50% of the 2010 budget. Um, so we have to send a documentation <coughs> statement. It needs to be signed and sent. I'll so make that motion. The second. Okay, second that. All in favor? I'd like to know, Franny was going to say he was going to explain by that letter why Keith, um, I'm waiting to hear that. Because that was the same people, he's part of the same people that, that kind of destroyed the water authority in the first place, why the guys quit. And that's the place of this big cost. So I destroyed it. We all sat there and three guys in the truck bullshit so many years ago. Yeah. And now, right <laughs> yeah. there, buddy. You guys laugh <laughs> off. You know what's bad? Yeah. 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 Don't laugh. It's not a laughing No, it is a laughing no, 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 You don't even belong it to the water story. You caused all this stuff. You the poison pen that was written in yeah. paper by half, half of the people. My God, that's hey, politics. Here's another thing to share. They're broke and they're buying goddamn clothes for the employees. Oh, my. That makes sense. Okay, well, that's why I didn't put it on the board. Because get a motion for it. Sure, I'll give you one. Right. I'm tired of listening to stupidity. Yeah, that's it. Now the town is in. There you go.